Technology enables a better, more modern experience for customers. It can also lead to significant cost savings. It's significant. Technology is kind of foundational for banking. It's coupled with a great strategy, great bankers, and then technology. It's all part of the foundation of having a great bank. Technology is the enabler that allows us to perform more efficient, quicker and better, and deliver the product better to the members. The biggest tech challenge is just trying to figure out how to get it all done. There's tons of opportunities, a lot of technology changing, branch transformations going on, big data, you name it, all the buzzwords are there, but just trying to get it all done. Our biggest challenge today is having enough resources to accomplish all the great things we want to be able to do for our members. So we have a director of greetings, so it's actually a St. Bernard that's in the branches, and we have members that uh, come in just to see those dogs. Uh, we were the first to have robotic safe store 24-7 access to safety deposit boxes. Uh, there's so many things we'd like to be first at or fast followers and having the resources, whether it's time, people or money to do all those great things isn't always the easiest for us to do. So with today's millennium personnel, and people living out there, they want everything to be automated, uh, everything available on their Androids or their iPhones, and we have to make those particular products available. And they may choose different channels to, to do business with us. They may use their uh, iPhone to do remote check capture, or they may just go to a branch and put the and deposit the check in that way. So we have to have multiple ways of actually touching our members now. Uh, what's exciting for me is data analytics and big data. It's uh, very exciting. I'm an analyst by nature, and there's huge opportunity at our size of a, of a bank to kind of capitalize, leverage, and differentiate yourself there. I see a lot of opportunity with studying trends in uh, origination processes, maybe bottlenecks that's going on there, maybe even operating processes where you can just higher efficiency is, is uh, great opportunities there. I'm really excited about the whole concept of the Internet of Things, where there's so many different uh, wide variety, a myriad of devices that can all interconnect and share data that can provide additional value to our customers. Uh, I've seen at uh, Disney World, for example, they've done a great job. They give you a wearable band that you can use to open your hotel room, make payments, and it's all focused on building and maintaining that brand. We'd like to be able to do the same type of thing in the financial institution industry. You know, you have a thermostat now that engages with the internet. We can have that type of technology. Maybe it's on your fridge while you're checking your daily news. You could have a ticker for financial institution information. I think Apple Pay is gonna is one of the products around that will probably revolutionize the way we make payments. People want to be sh uh, short, concise, and complete the the uh, the transaction with uh, a lot of security around it and be assured that no one's going to hack in or disrupt their payment or actually steal their funds. You all in 2015 we will invest in uh, analytics and data aggregation. We'll also uh, invest in some video banking, which isn't exactly new, but we are going to use the, the technology to help drive down some servicing costs. We're going to invest most heavily in mobile payments and the conversion, convergence of the two. Looking at mobile, looking at wearables, how can we bring that excitement back to those platforms? We're going to invest money into the mobile apps, remote check capture, mobile banking, uh, internet banking, but we're also going to uh, put some money into knowing the, the member, knowing what they do, what their habits are. It's somewhat an industry issue also, but I wish we had the ability to be fully untethered, fully mobility of bankers. Uh, we have a lot of friction in our account opening and servicing processes in the branches, and I'd like to see us be able to uh, you know, pull bankers out of the office and be able to move around. Now, think about this long and hard, and it's really a, a toss-up between time machine and cloning device. Right? 
it, you know, it'd be great to be able to look forward into the future and what great things are people actually going to use. I think if I had all the money in the world to what I wanted to invest in, I think I'd want to invest in information technology that is uh, predictive in behavior that would help us understand our members' needs.